Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tatiana. This is my tiny zoo. And today I'm going to be showing you some tarantula slings. I really wanted to do an unboxing type video, but since all of the, the new babies I bought are all local, um, none of them actually got shipped to me. I had to drive and go pick them up, but I figured I could still make a video out of it. Um, I have to check up on them anyways, so I'm going to be showing you some baby tarantulas today, and I hope you enjoy. As you can see, I've got all of my slings set out here, all of their enclosures. I also have my uh, trusty cup of coffee with leopard geckos on the print. It is definitely needed for this bright and early morning. And you can see here, I've got a little cup of water and a little syringe. It is still winter where I live. That means I have the heat running all the time. The air gets very dry here. So I wanna make sure these slings, especially the ones in pre-molt are getting enough moisture. I also have a Sharpie here. Um, I'm gonna label them so that I don't get these guys mixed up because all of their containers are not labeled right now. We're gonna start today's video with something really interesting. Uh, it's not actually a tarantula, but you're definitely gonna wanna check out and see what that guy is. And then we're gonna move from the smallest up to the largest, and I actually have another one that's off camera because his enclosure doesn't fit in the shot. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and start with this big guy right here. I'm just gonna open this up. I did crack all of these lids earlier, so it would be pretty easy. Oh man, and he has made a mess of this already. Can you guys guess what's in here? From the digging around. So he's definitely weighing his burrow. You can actually see a little molt right there. Let me get that out of there. Some tweezers. I'm just gonna take this out. I bet you can guess now if you couldn't guess before. But that's a little scorpion in there. It's an Asian forest scorpion. They are a really cool species. There's the underside of that. So that's a good sign, he's molting. Now, let's take this out of here. Whoop, it gets dirt everywhere. The substrate is still very moist, so I'm not going to, to give him some extra water. I'm just gonna refill this thing for him. Let's see if I can get a little shot of him without stressing him out too much. Where are my tongs? Here we go. He's probably under here somewhere. And you can't see anything, huh? All right, let's get you off this tripod, shall we? Well, I don't know if we're gonna get a shot of him today. I don't really wanna stick anything in there and poke him out. I don't wanna cause him any undue stress. But you can see his burrow goes all the way down to the bottom of this Tupperware. He has really dug it out. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. He has dug all the way down to the bottom underneath that Rubbermaid sign. So we can't even see him, but I'll flash a picture of what they look like up on the screen. And we're gonna leave this guy alone. I did see him just yesterday, so I know he's alive and well in here. He's just doing his own thing, um, making a little comfortable home for himself. So we're just gonna put that right back the way it was. Lift that up a little bit. Make sure that he can still get it in and out of there. Yep. And... We're gonna give him some water because he did a very good job overnight of burying that. Now I'm using male pronouns, but I don't actually know the sex of any of these animals since they're all so tiny, it's really hard to tell at this point in time. But that's why I'm just saying him, dude, this guy, all that. Let's just make sure he has oh, plenty of water and that should do it. On to the next one. Gotta take a sip of my coffee first. Much better. Now this next one, as you can see the size of this container, he's pretty tiny, but he is one of the ones I'm most excited for. This is a sea darlingy sling. And if you guys don't know, this tarantula when it's adult is super cool. They have this horn on their carapace that faces backwards. You can see his little um, his little burrow that he made in there. Let's see if I can get eyes on him. Oh, I see him, right? I don't know if you guys will be able to see him. Let's get him, get, make sure my hands are in the shot here. But you can see him right, right in here. Tiny, tiny little guy. Um, I think this is the ones in pre-molt, so I'm not gonna force him out. 
And this container does have some cross ventilation holes. It is looking a little bit dry. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and just drip a couple drops of water in here. Let me just make sure I know what side he's on so I don't smother him. So the tarantula is right here. I'm just gonna put some water over on this side for him. Just a couple drops and that'll seep into the substrate and provide some ambient humidity and some choice if he wants to go get that water or that humidity he can go over there. Just by moving this cup around it looks like I don't know if you can see him moving in there but I can see his little feet poking out of his hole. Oh there's his little feet. How cute is that? I can zoom in for you. There you go. I love slings. They are so cute when they're this small. They don't even look real. Oh, and he says, goodbye, I'm going back in my burrow. No? Yeah, you can see, look at that rear end. He is definitely in pre-molt. He's gonna fix up his little burrow for us really quick. Oh my God, that is too funny. Too cute. And absolutely tiny, but hopefully he has a successful molt and the next time you see him, he'll be bigger. And maybe I can show you that awesome horn that they're gonna have. The next one I have to show you is this little guy right here. You can kind of see him through the lid. And he, let's open this up first, shall we? Hopefully without disturbing the spider. He is a little Nandu Chromatis sling. And as you can see, this one is definitely in pre-molt. Let me zoom in for you here. Yeah, look at that rear end. He is definitely going to be molting soon and he's gonna be a pretty good size, it looks like. So cute, look at that. And when I checked up on them yesterday, he didn't have that little burrow that's right there. So he's definitely been busy overnight. Hopefully getting ready to molt for me pretty soon here. Just awesome. Now these guys are really cool when they're um, full grown. I'll give you guys a picture of what they look like as adult tarantulas. But they've got some stunning red and white colors on them. And I'm just gonna give him a couple drops of water um, away from his burrow. I'm gonna do it right over here. As you can see, I'm really not adding a lot of water to these enclosures. I don't wanna flood them by any means. I don't want the humidity to be stagnant or swampy but I do wanna provide enough moisture that they can get a drink if they need to or for him to molt successfully. And that soil absorbed it pretty fast. And then I'm just gonna label the side of the cup and we're done with this guy. The next one here is an Aphinapelma chalcodes, an Arizona blonde. And of course, it made a little burrow literally overnight. That wasn't there yesterday, but I guess that's a good sign. So let's see if I can beckon him out. A lot of people think this species is kind of boring, but I'm actually really excited for him. And we are just gonna give him some water here. And let's see if I can just get him to come out a little bit so that you can see him. There he is, kind of hard to see, especially with the texture of my table that I've got him on. I bet if I turn this, he's just gonna bolt right back in there. No? Well, thanks, dude. But they're adult colors, that bright, like blonde yellow color that they get, is absolutely beautiful. So I'm really excited for this one to mature. And you can see he's quite a bit bigger than the other slings that I had. Kind of looks like a pile of legs right now, but still, he is the biggest of the smallest group of slings that I've got, but the next two I'm going to show you are significantly bigger. So he's been a really good sport about showing off a little bit for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and label his container and we're going to put him away. This next guy I have is definitely one that has been on my bucket list for a while. You can see he's an arboreal species. His legs are peeking out right back here. And that is a P. regalis. Let's see, he's really webbed up in here, so I don't know if I'll get a good shot, but I'll definitely include an adult picture of them because they are a beautiful species. 
Um, he's right in there. You can kind of see the pattern on his legs right now. He's definitely a juvenile, probably about this big. And we're going to crack the top so I can give him some water. And then we're going to put the top back on because I don't want him to bolt or go anywhere. There you can see his little legs peeking out. Just a couple of drops down in there. This one is not in pre-molt, um, so I'm just adding moisture once a week, once every other week, just to offer him something to drink and some ambient humidity. Well, it seems like the best shot I'm gonna get right now is of those front legs. Please excuse the cricket that's right next to me. If he comes out later tonight, I'll definitely snag another clip of him. Still a stunning species. Hopefully I can get a shot of him for you guys. I do have an arboreal enclosure all set up for him. I think he's still one or two molts shy of being able to go in here, um, but this is what I have ready for him. What do you think? He is definitely too small to go in there, huh? Yeah, I'm thinking one or two more molts and then I can rehouse him into there. And then that is where he can stay for a while. All right, this is the last tarantula I'm gonna show you guys today. This one's a little bit different. All of the ones before this, I actually got from a local breeder. Um, he breeds a lot of different species of tarantulas, really responsible. All of his tarantulas come in really good condition, really well taken care of, and he's local to me, so I didn't have to pay for shipping. I just drove to his house and picked them up. This guy, I actually bought from a local PetSmart, and I usually don't buy animals from PetSmart. I think he is actually the only, let me think now, he's the only animal in my collection right now that came from a pet store like that, a corporate pet store like that. But the people that he, that were taking care of him, and I know that this is kind of store specific, sometimes they're really bad at care, sometimes they're really good. The people that were taking care of this particular tarantula, they were very knowledgeable about him. They actually kept track of every single time that he ate, every single time that he molted, and all the times that he refused food. And they printed that piece of paper out for me and they gave it to me when, when I picked him up. So when I saw him and I saw the care that he was receiving, I decided that I was going to buy him. Always make those decisions on your own. Definitely not great to support corporate pet stores that um, buy wild caught animals. But he has actually been raised up since he was a teeny tiny sling, so I doubt that that was the case here. So use your better judgment and your own discretion when you're going to corporate pet stores and buying animals from them. But this dude has been in quarantine um, since I don't know exactly where he came from. Unlike the other ones that have been from a breeder, I know that there's not really, they're not going to come with issues. He's been in quarantine in a completely different room away from all of my other uh, tarantulas and all of my animals actually. Just until I know that there's absolutely nothing wrong with him. And he is definitely in pre-molt so I don't really want to disturb him too much. But I'm just going to lift this off. So you can see him, oh, and he's under here, but he is a Mexican red knee tarantula, and look how beautiful. Definitely not a sling, he's a juvie for sure. Look at that butt, he definitely is ready to pop pretty soon here. I don't really like the enclosure that he came with, all of the stuff is what he was in, at PetSmart. I'm just trying to get him to his next molt and then I will be adding a lot more substrate. I'll be getting rid of this. I'm not really the biggest fan of that water dish. But yeah, he is just stunning. So stay tuned for a rehouse video coming soon. As soon as this dude decides that he is going to molt for me and I'm just going to put him back down like that he doesn't need any water his water dish is full and i overflowed it actually last night so he should be good and we're gonna leave him alone so that is it i'm all done labeling these containers i have given all of them a little bit of water and as you can see i'm almost out of my coffee which means it is time for me to go i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did consider liking commenting and subscribing let me know what tarantula species you're interested in. Maybe I can get my hands on a sling or juvenile and feature them in a video for you soon. And I hope you guys are excited to watch these little guys grow up with me.
Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.